Okay, so now we're going to transition over to the B chord, and I like to throw this little bass run in there to um, to get me from the E chord over to the B. This is a, a pretty cool moment where you're getting ready to set up the turnaround, so um, I'll do something quick like this uh, from the E. Uh, so that's what we normally do. Here's how I'm going to change it up. I'm going to leave out this and add a bass run to get me over to the B. Okay. And that's what we're doing. I've got my um, third finger, third fret on the um, E. Uh, and sometimes you'll actually see me play it with my pinky. Uh, just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. But actually, I really prefer starting this with the pinky because it can just reach up there and it's not holding down the rest of this chord. But anyway, the next part is from the third fret on the G on the uh, E string, excuse me. I'm hitting the A string open and hammering on to the first fret and then walking right up, and that's with my first finger, and then walking right up to the uh, B note on the A string, which is the second fret. And when I hit that spot, that's when I put down my chord for the B7. And the B7 chord is on the A string, second fret, D string, first fret, G string, second fret, B string open, and then the E string, um, second fret. So it's two, one, two, zero, two. Definitely a very cool blues sound. Uh, love these seventh chords. So again, from the E, and I'm grabbing this open E first, the high E, and, and here's where we get into the B. Okay, if you can get that down, it's pretty quick to lay down that chord, but get some practice doing that. Just doing that move. Because when you get here, you got to be ready to play. And here's the next part um, on the B chord. I'm strumming, or picking rather, with um, these three fingers, the high three strings. Then I'm taking my thumb, and I know I've usually been on either the E string or the uh, A string. But here I'm going to actually come down um, to the D string and pluck it open and then hammer on with my first finger to the first fret. So um, it's a cool way to add some life to this B chord. Okay, and then we're going to do a familiar move from back when we were talking about the A chord. I'm coming back to my G, G string, the bass note, and then um, I'm moving my pinky up to the third fret. And that's it for the B. Actually, I lied to you. The rest of it is very similar to the A. So I'm plucking my E string. The B string is open. And the E string's third fret. B string's open. And then holding the B7 chord uh, down here on the bottom strings, I'm plucking the D string first fret and then the G string second foot fret. All right, and that finishes it off. All right, so from the E into the B, And then um, we move back into familiar territory and go to our A chord. And 
and we're going to do the second half of that A chord. With that little tail on it. So let me get you all the way up to the last two bars starting from the very beginning and then we'll talk about the turnaround. Okay, so here we are, the last two bars, and you can do a lot of special things here to kind of set you up for going around the whole progression again, which is fun to do, and it uh, makes practicing this stuff just more and more enjoyable. For right now, I'd like to stick with uh, just playing the chords um, that belong in that part of the, the progression, and then we'll plug in some cool turnarounds in an upcoming lesson. So what chords belong in the last two bars? Well, for bar 11, you'll want to hang out on your E chord. And then um, for the uh, 12th bar, you're going to go to your 5 chord, the B chord. And then finally you'll just end back on 1 and start the whole thing over again, the E chord, start over again. So um, here we go. Let's take it from this spot where we go to the, the B. Okay, so that was bar 11 and 12. And the B chord I play a little bit differently at the, for the last bar. Just a nice way to finish off. Just hold the chord. No movement, no pinky, no licks. The only fancy thing that I'm doing is this hammer on um, on the D string from the open to the first fret. And then we're done. End it on an E, and you're set. That's the 12-bar blues. Let's put it all together and play it one more time from the top. Here we go. <laughs> 